Yeah! Look at Alex Mercer posting like a boss. He loves it. Yeah. Woo, woo, woo. And, and Lucas, um, I, I can't stop thinking about that thing you said of Alex Mercer consuming people to get highlight reels of his own cool shit. <laughs> I, I'm, just, I'm just obsessed with that idea at the moment. Oh, it's, like, it's really true, though. It's exactly what you do. I would, yeah. 100%. <laughs> if I had that ability. Uh, the military, I think they've got this. So let's go to um, a nice location in the blue zone so we know that shit's not getting real. And we did a bunch of the events last time, didn't we? We did, yes. I say, in which case, then, let's go do a mission. So we've not done a couple of missions in a while. Whoa. Oh, that looks so slick. Oh, there we go. So yeah. military base. Some guys there like, what's that beeping? <laughs> that that must be so terrifying, though, because they know that means someone infected is nearby, and they are instantly there and then just gone. <laughs> which means they're flying overhead. Yeah. <laughs> Start mission. Can you hear that marine in background giving someone shit? <laughs> really? I went to his phone booth to get a cell phone. Who is this? <laughs> I know you want to hear. 40 years ago. Oh. To be in Project Red Light. I like to think that's his voice and he's not using a scrambler or anything. <laughs> <laughs> be That'd be rough if you were born with a voice like that. Oh, have you ever seen like um, those interviews with the people who do the trailer voices? You're like in a world. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, there's the guy who does it for English trailers. Like, he actually talks like that. That's his real voice. Oh my god, and, that's and so he used cool. To be a, he used to be a train conductor, so he had to do the announcements. <laughs> and he just says one day he was like uh, um, helping people off the train, and a guy came up and just gave him a card and said, "Call me. We oh, wow. need to record your voice." That's so cool. Because <laughs> they thought he was putting it on until they saw him just talking casually. <laughs> Okay, like that. They're planning to deploy a weapon against me. Oh, you know that guy's a good guy because he's helping the living virus. <laughs> he's helping the man who's just made of, like, turbo cancer. I mean, you know they're a good guy because they're leaving burners around and using a voice scrambler, so it's all good. Fuck yeah. Uh, it's always uh, the sign of a good guy, Carl. thing is, though, like, Alex Mercer is not a good guy. That's the thing we know. We yeah, know he's not a good true. guy. Like, when your first mission is just uh, murder someone. <laughs> when your like primary gameplay mechanic is eat people to get more health, <laughs> you know you're not a good guy. But we need to go tonight. My mission is go to a tall building, see what's going down. Do you reckon when what? Prototype 2 came out and he died, there were people arguing, oh no, Alex is really a good guy? Uh, I, they could have made him, he's an anti-hero, I guess, because he's, he is fighting against the corrupt government. Who, like, you know, I mean, it's just on one people. evil force against another, really, isn't it? Yeah. He might be the lesser of two evils, but that doesn't make him good. Uh, he's chaotic neutral at best. <laughs> Look at that. Guard that helicopter. It's not like there's like 50 of them in the sky at any one time. I just realised why I ain't got a military disguise. Oh, shit. You know what? Fuck it. Let's go. Innocent civilian. <laughs> but, excuse me, sir, gliding over here. You shouldn't be here. But, yeah, no shit. Oh, he had, he had knowledge. Did you oh! see that? The instant I picked him up, he gained knowledge. <laughs> so what he must have done is he must have had PTSD flashbacks when that happened. Got things suited for. They've been trained to specifically counteract viral targets. They are highly mobile, super strong, resilient, and capable Ooh. of going toe to toe with even the strongest. Yeah, the super soldiers look. Combat. I didn't even realize that was in this game. It's because they're not fun to fight, and they stop fighting after like two missions because you kill them all. Oh, okay. <laughs> So I'm going to get rid of my, um, uh, there we go. And to be fair, that would draw the enemy away, because you saw me leap three city blocks <laughs> away. There we go. Hide up here. Yeah, not they suspicious at all, Alex. Look at that helicopter it now. <laughs> the only thing is if I trans- Oh, <laughs> shit! The camera fucked it up, the camera knows. Like, the, the games just go, no, no, don't look at that, don't look at that. There we go. Well, that was crazy, right, fellas? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> just... <laughs> like, why do we need casual. this one? The most casual of all. Oh, man, I forgot how to fly. Oh, thank God. <laughs> the, the game knows. The game knows that I was like, oh, shit, I don't want to accidentally fire the missile and kill everybody. Ah, uh, right, yeah. So there we go. Oh, look at that, assist the military. Oh, cool. Gotta be in, gotta be in formation. Oh, God. I, th that sounded cool until you said we've got to be in formation. 
The last I saw for that picture, maybe it wants me to be in formation. Oh, okay. I was going to say because I know what games are like, and as soon as they ask you to do that. Oh, man. Is there any worse gameplay mechanic than you need to follow this person? So you've got to be, you can't get too close, but you can't get too yeah. far away. <laughs> it's like I was but, playing uh, Ghost of Tsushima, and they were still doing it in that. I was like, how have game developers not learnt this is a universally bad thing? And that nobody likes it. Yeah, it's one of the most common complaints I hear. It's like, oh, remember back in Assassin's Creed when you had to, like, follow people? When you couldn't just, follow you them, you had to follow them, like... And it's... Ten years later, we're still making the same fucking mistake. Yeah. More it's than like, ten years. like uh, um, escort missions where characters will not uh, run, they'll run too slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. I've got infinite amount of these, so I have <laughs> It's like, oh yeah, um, follow missions where your run speed is too fast and your walk speed is too slow. Mm -hmm. Or just generally you... escort missions where the person you're escorting can take damage and won't defend themselves. Yeah. So, I'll, be playing a lot, I'll be playing a lot of Dead Rising recently. So yeah, tell me fucking about it. I mean, in fairness, that is a good thing in Dead Rising because of the setting, but... Yeah. Then when you give them something to defend themselves, i.e. a gun, it, it all goes you. tits up. They shoot you with it. Yeah. It's like they'll shoot other survivors with the shotgun if you give them. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, God. Blow. Oh, look at that. Why do you even need to get close to the helicopter when you can do this? <laughs> I do like, though, that when you use a helicopter, you realise, yeah, these things are fucking unstoppable. Because mm. look at what I'm able to do. Just rain down fire. Yeah, and like pretty much nothing can hit you. Just raining down fire from the heavens. Yeah, that is like one of the most universally detested mechanics in video games. Of, uh, yeah, you need to follow this person, but you can't get too close, you can't get too far away. <laughs> oh god, I hate the zone. Come on. There we go. That one. That's the one that has to die. It's like, are we still needing to be here? Is everything so. not dead yet? There's a bunch of stuff with like red marks on it, so I should probably kill that. There we go. Here we go, yeah. I do wonder what the guys like driving out. They got to think, like, wow, I've never seen anybody just use a helicopter the correct <laughs> way. They normally fly directly next to them. There we go. Like they're normally on. grinding the fucking rotor blades around. On yeah, the he jumped out and got oh! hit by the rotor blades. Oh, no. He tried to grab theft auto it. Fair play to that guy that just took it, though. Yeah, he took rotor blades to the face. Oh, man, like, so you said like Ghost of Tsushima still does that? Yeah. Like how? I, I, don't I want know. to know because obviously the people making games now must play fucking video games. They yeah. must know that that people don't like it. How can you play video games and be in that like industry and not know people fucking hate that? Exactly because and that's then put been it a in thing your game. for 10, 15 years that people have complained about at very least. And it's like okay, I, I get it. A couple of years later, when you know, you've already been designing the game, whatever. This game comes out, you know, so oh much God, later down the line. Look at these cars. <laughs> Look how well they can throw these cars. Yeah, because these are the only ones that can threaten you right now. Put the cars home in if you look. They're ridiculous. To be fair, Carl, in Come a on. universe where you can curl cars, they should be able to too. Yeah. I want to meet the people who make these games and speak to them about this and just like pick their brains. Yeah, yeah. Just to ask them like, do you play games? Yeah, do you like it when um, you have to do a mission where you have to follow somebody really closely? <laughs> and that if you get too close that they spot you instantly and you have to restart the mission. Like, oh no, I fucking hate shit like that. Why'd you put it in your game <laughs> yeah. Is that all we gave the intern that one? Oh my god. Oh, yeah. that was a hit. Yeah. This mission just went from really easy to holy shit. Yeah, that's why you have to get really far away, but these things won't spawn unless you get close. But as you can see, the car's home in. Mm -hmm. So I have to reduce altitude to lure them out of hiding. So I have to get close enough oh. for them to throw shit at me. Where's the thermobaric tank when you need one, car? Yeah. Oh shit, no, one more blow, yeah. And I get it, yeah, that is tough, but when you see the, the car literally home in. Look at that! You saw it raise altitude. Yeah. 
I also want as well know what how ballsy the people are to climb into this tank with me. When you see this flaming helicopter come back at you all. It's like, you know what? I think I'll just take the road filled with hunters. Yeah, I, I think I just leg it. Yeah. Come on. Why can't I lock on? Why can't I lock on? Why can't I lock on? There we go. Oh my god, look how fast that helicopters go. That's some fucking <laughs> speed is that in it. I was just thinking though, it reminded me, I don't know why, but I was like, oh god, they're just attacking each other. Fuck it, like, get out of my way. You know the start there of we Fallout go. New Vegas, when it's just like, danger, there's death traps down this road. Oh, it, death claws, sorry. Death claws, not death. I don't know why I thought death traps, but yeah. They are they are a death trap. They though. are a death trap, but... Um, Climb into my flaming helicopter, <laughs> take your chances, guys. It's just like, you know what? Every time I look at that side, I go, I, I can risk it. Oh my god! Like the <laughs> oh, why? Well, evacuate. thanks, Hydras. Evacuate, yeah. That makes sense. Well, like this game, oh, look at those birds with two frames of animation. You see them. <laughs> look, look at those, like, uh, PS2 birds. Spider-Man PS4, this thing. And even then, the birds in that game look like shit. Did you see that they fixed the boat people for the PS5 version? I hate it. I wish they made them worse. Yeah. Oh, God! That hunter's going to kill me instantly. <laughs> my, my helicopter's going to explode in this cutscene. Fly! Fly! Like, it's going to... my. I am running the risk of dying in the cutscene here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. The car. What? Are you fucking hit you? No! I was destroyed trying to land. Please give me at least a checkpoint with full health. Because this is how you do stuff like this. Give me the, yeah, oh, thank, thank God, me. yeah. Give me, the, give me the checkpoint with full health. Because I think it is the game I was playing where, like, again, this is I can't believe game designers still put it in. Um, the game um, Dante's Inferno, which is a bad character action game, but I was debating playing on the channel. Oh, okay, yeah. Like, I love my character action games. Yeah, it was, what, 10 years ago or something that it came out? And it's the one where, oh, yeah, you have Death Scythe. And so you're that could be cool. Going through, isn't it like figures. you're going through the rings of hell? Yes. Yeah. But the thing is, if you have like say one pip of health and die, you will respawn and checkpoint with one pip of health. Oh wow! So let's say you go and there is no way to like um, get health back quickly or guaranteed. You can only do it from like certain things or by equipping a certain item that's like really rare or something like that. I don't remember the exact specifics, but mm -hmm. um, if you enter a combat scenario with one pip of health. You have one pip of health like combat scenario, and I checked the only way to get more health is to die ten times. Oh my god. If you die ten times, the game will give you more health. Ten times? Yeah. I just thought I'm never playing this on the channel because there's no fucking way I want to get stuck in a situation where we have to do that. Oh my word. That's ridiculous. It is, yeah, and you just think like who designed that? Do they play test their own games? <laughs> yeah. And the so I didn't is know they do. Yeah, they do, and I, I imagine that conversation in QA where it's just like, well, yeah, the game's really good, but I got stuck on this boss and started it with no health. All right, okay. That's the thing, it happened to me in a boss fight, and the boss fights, as you imagine, like, in a bad character action game, are three stages. Yeah, of course Three stages, are. and you can only attack them doing certain things. Oh. And they have, like, bullshit area effects, attacks and mobs. Yeah, grind them, cowgirl. But I remember playing of the demo for that game because I was like, okay, well, you know, God of War S game set in hell. It, it is the most God of War, God of War I've ever seen. It is so blatantly a rip-off of God of War. Yeah. But it did sound like a cool idea and isn't that the one where is that the one where they had um Patrick Stewart doing the VO? It might be. I don't remember I just remember that. It's really Oh poison <laughs> That'd be. Can you imagine though? Oh, we we filled in something in that only hurts the affected, and then a guy at the back of the room starts coughing. <laughs> that is suspicious. Oh god. Oh no. If only I've not. It's not like I've cleared out like eighty military bases already. Well, so he drains my health and I'm close. It's time. Oh my god. Yes. Yeah. Missile launchers. Oh, it looks so brutal. Ugh, do not get caught with the blood tox. Gimme. I think I missed. Oh, 
Oh, oh, wait, 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 whoa, 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 where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> Shit, fuck it. Oh, there we go. I didn't get one. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, no. Just like, again, just ask, like, does anybody like it when, like, people hit you with missiles from off screen? No, that sucks. Okay, let's put every enemy type in this game does that. I wonder how hard it is to, like, like, I have no, no clue whatsoever, like, to genuinely stop anyone off screen from attacking you. I am wondering, because it is a, a, a thing, yet again, another thing that we've had to deal with in so many games that we've been playing on your channel. Devil May Cry fix it straight away. It's just if the enemy is not on visible to the player, he can't attack. Oh yeah, yeah. That, but what that I'm simple. more thinking is how easy is that to program as a game developer? Because most games just blatantly ignore it. It's because they don't care. Because they don't <laughs> care about the actual character action experience. So it's being like Dante. Oh, here we go. Super Super Soldier, my fucking oh. ass. Do you feel, do you feel like a Super Soldier, mate? There we go, I win. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, that's the first time they get deployed and Alex Mercer kills it in three seconds? Alex Mercer kills it by just picking up one of your trucks. <laughs> that would be so scary. Because these they just guys... just that in. Yeah, these guys must have been so confident. Like, we've got the brand new Super Soldier backing us up. And Alex Mercer kills it in three seconds. <laughs> yes, oh, God, no, what do you do? And then steals your own... Your teammate's face. And then... <laughs> Fine. Please tell me I'm still in disguise. I am. You oh, are, I'm supposed to be filled They up. didn't give a shit. They know. To be fair, though, it's like... Oh, the yeah. damage. But yeah, that, when the they open that... the door, there's blood everywhere and one guy's still there. It's like, yeah, it's probably Alex Mercer. Yeah, that guy's probably Alex Mercer. Like, look at how confident <laughs> these guys probably are. And they're all dead. They're all losing three quarters of their health in one hit. Like, what does it feel like to lose three quarters of your life bar in one hit? It's, that must be the equivalent of getting hit by a car. Yeah. That's the only thing though as well. They're basically just the human equivalent of the hunters. They are, yeah. Where all they do is just hit you with unlockable attacks like oh, so you just punch them. <laughs> as if the game wasn't worse. But yeah, Devil May Cry fixed that problem years ago. Just if the enemy's not on the screen. It can't fire. Yeah. And then every other character action game I've ever played is like, no, fuck it. They do the same animation all the time constantly. Yeah, because that's why, that's why I'm wondering whether it's a design like thing that they didn't think about or whether it's just hard to program that stuff. No, it's, it's because they don't care. I'm, pr I'm presuming it's because it's just fuck you. Yeah, they don't care. It's like they don't anticipate people to play the game that much. And plus, like, oh, it makes it difficult. It's like, but it makes it difficult in the wrong way. That's it's always the thing, isn't it? Isn't it? I know. He's like rubber banding in um, uh, racing games. I see it as like, similar to that where. Do you want to make the AI difficult? No, to put rubber banding in. Yeah. It's just easy, it's easier. Like, do you want to program the game to have like you know difficult combat encounters that are challenging? And that can be countered by good play. No, just make them fire rockets from off screen. Well, it's like our, our friend sent us a message recently. Like, oh, I just got to the end of Demon's Souls and the boss can take levels away from you because fuck you. Yeah. And it's like... And it's like oh. I'm not human. But then as well, there's no... Um... Oh, here we go. This is the way it's revealed. So it's the virus. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm not Alex. I'm just pretending to be him. So ingrained. So real. That must be weird, that. Mm-hmm. I realized then I was a part of it all. An offshoot of the virus that struck hope in 69. What does that do to someone's, like, mental state? Apparently zero things. Because Alex is just like, oh cool, I'll move on then. You were an insider. I was sure you could give me the answers. No, it's like, it's like well, I have no idea what I am. Mm -hmm. Penn Station was ground zero, not Elizabeth Green. Whoever triggered the infection, whoever did this to me, I knew you could give me McMullen. And oh yeah, I don't think it's been revealed yet. It's Alex who did it. He just oh. did the Ganondorf side B. The fuck you didn't win and smashed it himself. <laughs> like, he's the reason it happened. He's just like, oh, well, I'm the infection, but who did this to me? It's like, you did, you prick. He's like, oh, well. Do you know whose fault it is? Everyone but mine. <laughs> Miss I'm a man. Yeah, I, I couldn't believe that demon soul thing that mate told about. And then he's like, oh, yeah, and there's also no way to grind healing items. Oh, there's no way you don't get infinitely respawning healing items. You have to grind them out. Yeah. And he's just 
at that point, I want to meet the person who put that in. I'm like, oh yeah, but it makes the game more difficult. It's like, no, it, it's just frustrating and annoying. Mm -hmm. And you're adding artificial difficulty. Right? It, the game is not difficult through any like good design decision. It's just difficult because fuck you. Yeah, it's okay. just inflating the playtime because every time you get hit by that attack that de-levels you, it's like, well, instead of being able to just go and try your hand at the boss again, is that, no, now you've got to go find enemies, like level up, grind out items again. Ooh, so skyscraping, let's go do this mission, shall we? Let's scrape this that one's like, It's like a, a travel mission that gives us like 130,000 AP. But it's, I don't get it. It's like rubber banding is like the best example because how many like games of Mario Kart have you played where you played flawlessly, made one mistake and the enemy overtakes you? Yeah, like get hit by a blue shell just the second to last corner and all the AI have caught up. It's like, come on! And it's not fair and it doesn't feel good. No, I, I think it feels a lot better when you're playing with just like, you know, um, players rather than AI because... Yeah, you're not rubber banding, you're getting the bullshit items in Mario Kart. Mm -hmm. But when it's the rubber banding and the bullshit items, that's when it's just so frustrating. It, again, I just want to know, because it's clearly they do it because it's like, I hate using the term like lazy developer, but they do it because they don't want to program good AI. Well, it's the good easiest AI way to um, keep game like a racing game like entertaining, isn't it? Yeah, to so constantly feel, oh god, no. <laughs> Fuck! I fucked that up. I tried. Well, I guess let's just finish the level and see where I need to go. I messed that up somewhat <laughs> chronic. I was hoping to do your tech, Lucas. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> oh god, though. Just when you see and it, he just missed by like a fucking half a foot. But, yeah, it's, it's the easiest way to make the game constantly feel like a challenge. Feel like a challenge, not actually a challenge. Yeah. Without programming the um, the AI to like be good, mm -hmm. and it's fucking infuriating. But I will say as well, um, it is infuriating in a racing game when you have AI that's programmed to just be perfect. And I've had that situation before where it's like, no matter how well I drive, I can't be this AI. And that that is a bad feeling, but yeah, I don't think the right way to fix it is just. Well, I guess, like, they can just catch up to you whenever they want. Oh, there we go. All, like, do stuff that's not fair. It's like, look at, like, old Mortal Kombat games where the AI literally reads your inputs. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that's how they made, like, difficulty in that game. It's just, no, fuck it, the AI just reads your inputs. And then counters whatever you're going to do perfectly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go, 40 seconds. So remember, nice uh, uh, not even an older game necessarily, like not too old, but Street Fighter Four, the Seth boss in that, where you just read your inputs and counts everything perfectly, just like everything. you cannot get in on him, and all of his moves are "fuck you, I'm literally better than you." And then it gets to that point of where like you, the game is actively teaching you not to play the game because <laughs> yeah. the only way to beat stuff like that is by cheesing it yourself, which doesn't work against a human player. No. So not only is the game bad, it's not teaching you how to play properly. Yeah, because Mortal Kombat 9, um, I defeated Chao Kahn with Raiden, uh, Raiden, Raiden, just by doing his teleport attack over and over. Yeah, that's all you got to do. We've top run of that. And it's like, that doesn't teach me to be a good player, that teaches me to spam the fuck with this one attack. To be fair though, against Shao Kahn, I get it, what does he do? <laughs> he just spams, like, the hammer and the shoulder charge, it's like, god yeah. damn it. If you had access to that move, I'd spam it too. <laughs> yeah. Now, that's why I, like, I, hate, I hate the term lazy dev, but I can't see that as anything but laziness because they don't want to program actually... Um, uh...